How do you know which currency pairs to trade, what time frame to trade, when to trade, and which direction? So let's talk about those problems and more right now. Hi Forest Traders, Andrew Mitchum here. Today is Friday the 1st of April. And a very common problem that so many people share with me is that they have such an issue with their trading of having a lack of understanding really. They're not sure which currency pairs to trade, when they should be looking at their charts, uh, which pairs to look at, what direction the, uh, the trade's likely to move in, which time frame to trade. So there's quite a lot of issues going on there. And you know all of those things cause a lot of confusion. They cause most people to probably take too many trades to over trade. And therefore what that's doing is it's causing unnecessary risk on your trading account. Now we know the issue, let's see how we can address that. And for me, I have, like most things in my trading, quite a simple solution to this issue. And so what I do is I tend to try and take my trades within a day in the direction that I see the longer time frame charts moving. And to help people with that, I post on my website, free of charge each day, the likely strengths and weaknesses of different currencies and also different pairs for each day. And that's valid from 5 p.m. New York time through to 5 p.m. New York time the following day. So for a 24 hour time frame. And what it helps you to do is to take trades using your own strategy on the time frame charts that suit you and to only take trades that are in that likely overall direction. And so what that does is it eliminates a lot of uh, bad trade setups and eliminates a whole lot of issues around confidence, about lost uh, money, whatever it might be. It helps to eliminate a lot of those common problems within your trading. So I analyze the strength and weakness of all the currencies and all the currency pairs every day. And so what I suggest you do is have a look at my website every single day. Just log into my website and get that free information. Now, of course, for my clients, they receive a whole heap more than that. They receive specific trades with the reasons for taking the trades, the directions, uh, the exact entry point and exit points, etc. But that's for clients. Now they pay for that information and it helps them to trade um, all different time frame charts within that day. But if you're not a client, then just log into my website and have a look under the latest daily directions because it really will help you. As an example, let's say the British pound US dollar. Today, let's say for it to sell off. I'm looking for short positions ideally on the British pound US dollar. So I do that by looking at the British pound and I'm seeing lots of, lots of weakness throughout the British pound against the US, against the yen, against the franc, the Kiwi, the Aussie, Canadian, etc. And at the same time, let's say I'm seeing strength in the US and I'm seeing strength in the US against the euro, um, against the pound, all those, you know, against the yen, the franc, etc. So put the two together and I'm saying for today, I'm looking for short positions. So what that helps me do is when I go to say one hour time frame charts or four hourly time frame charts and I see short positions setting up, sell positions setting up on my charts, I know that it's trading in that likely longer term direction. What it also does is it stops me from taking buy positions or long positions on that pair for today. Now those long positions may or may not work out depending on your strategy and your approach to trading. However, I know that for today, the likely overall direction is for the British pound US dollar to drop. Therefore, why would I want to be taking buy positions? I'm much more likely to get higher probability trades, higher reward to risk trades by taking sell positions for today. So make sure that you jump onto my website daily. Have a look at that information. It's free there for you to go and have a look at. Of course, if you want to know more, then you can jump onto my course, but um, that's a whole different level again for those people who wish to invest in their own education. Now, talking about people who wish to invest in their own education, uh, I had a, a fantastic email yesterday from a client of mine in Texas in the US who has made 8.51% on their account so far just this week, trading just the daily charts. So it just goes to show what can be done once you've invested in yourself, you learn a good strategy, you have uh, some backup help from a mentor, and you just understand what you're doing within your trading, 
and you have that ability to then take trades for yourself. Imagine that, 8.51%. And that was only sent to me on uh, Wednesday, or sent to me Thursday my time, but Wednesday in the US. So this client still had another two days of trading, yesterday and today's uh, trades to take. So it just shows what can be achieved once you have a good understanding. So I hope that helps you. Because ultimately, what we're trying to do out of trading is be profitable to make money and to enjoy our trading. So in order for all of that to happen, you have to have a strategy, you have to have an understanding of the market, you have to stick to that strategy and, and be prepared for losing trades. But also, uh, when you do get profitable trades, make sure that they are such uh, great reward to risk trades that they make up for any losses that you have plus more. So if that helps, let me know. Leave a comment below underneath this video and I look forward to bringing you more trading news and information this time next week.